everybody, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, and boy, I know it's been a while since I've touched this game, but we're going to be playing my favorite country in Hoi 4, Russia, and we're going to see which paths and Kai's meetups want to do. Um, let's see, we can do, like, Monarchy, I think Monarchy sounds kind of cool, we could do Corn of Lava, Rain Gold, uh, I don't know if we're going to do social expression. Let's just start the game. Electronic mechanical engineering piece of machine tools, construction. It's been a while since I've played this, so cut me some slack. We're already building some stuff. I'm just going to build a sieve here. Mills, let's see. I don't really need strat bombers right now or interwar bombers. We're just going to get fighters as well as close air support. Three on each, and then... 19, 20, and then put another one on artillery. That should be good. We're gonna trade eventually once we have more sims. And then two convoys. We have to start with a big army, but it's not very good because some of the units are half equipped. Or under equipped, I mean. Let's just divide our army. Uh, 30. It's probably a unit we can build. This cab unit, I don't really need. So we're just gonna have an even army. We're gonna just put, uh, oh no. Cornelov's gonna die, so I'm just gonna put Denik in charge for now. And then we're gonna put some of these generals here. This guy, not this one. Uh, this guy. Yeah, alright, I remember how to do this now. And this guy. And I just put them kind of around the Moscow area, Nizhny Novgorod, Petrograd. We have an Air Force, do we? Yeah. Let's add some of the planes to it. And let's actually start training them too. We have a navy, but we're not really going to use it. Uh, do I have any more ships? I probably... Okay, I don't hold that because it's transfer. Just put like any generals on there, it's fine. I mean, we're going to do strike force. Uh, I have the men here. Put them there. And then, probably down here should be good as well. And we're gonna start the game. The music's a little loud for, for my terrible mic. So I'm just gonna do that. So we have Long Live Russia. So this is just Kaiser Redux. So I'm sure if you're watching, you probably already know what this. It's like. An expansion of Kaiser Reich, which is if Germany won World War One, the mod. The Russian economy. So Kaiser Redux has been updated quite a bit. So there's more war. I'm not gonna really read it. We do know Kerensky gets killed, but we would do the shot that rang around the world. And in the aftermath of Kerensky, the PSR will lead him in minority government. Funeral Kerensky. Was a patriot. Gorgilov Trout, who is Gorgilov's the guy that shot Kerensky. Um, I put death penalty because we don't want to have to deal with the guy later. The Senate acts, so Dmitry Romanov would be the acting president, I think? I don't know. The Totalist Charter, or Sturmer dies. Confidence motion. Acting president addresses the Duma. Government resigns. King Edward VIII is crowned King of Great Britain. Payment of Brest-Lebosk. That's gonna hurt us. Alash Autonomy declares independence.
Socialist demonstrations in Petrograd turned into riots. So we will... Um, the government calls for the police to disperse the crowd. What the heck? I have not played this game in a while, so apparently this is something new. Afghanistan is declared war. Oh, so I have to dismiss it and click right click. NRPR. We're gonna, I guess, give in to the guy's demands. Clashes in Petrograd. Try to negotiate with opposition leaders. Oh, and the war's ended, apparently. In Afghanistan, wait, the Afghanistan actually win? No way. Afghanistan won the Fourth Anglo-Afghan War. I'm not gonna do that yet. Question of socialist so Black Monday has hit us. Um, allow them to participate, I guess. The day after. Can we pick a focus? This focus tree is still quite extensive. We're gonna just wait and see. Peasant unrest. Electoral gridlock in Afghanistan has triumphed against the Entente. So how does that change things up? Austrian Empire is withdrawn from Italy, dealing with Black Monday. So if I want monarchy... ...in Russia again, which is, I think, what I'm trying to do. Restoration of the Russian Empire. Win the election of the right cadets. Who are the right cadets? It's not these guys, so it's probably this one. So the Senate plan would devalue the ruble. So who do we want to win? Like I said, I have not played this in a while, so give me some time to relearn some things. To win the election as right cadets or VNS? To these guys, or the All Russian National Union. So we want to do snap elections and just keep initiating VNS campaigns. Although I feel like these guys are still going to win. These People's Republican Party of Russia. League of Eight promises to declare war on left Kuting and all the Chinese are fighting each other. Okay. The Marshall. China looks like a fun place to play. Elimination in the countryside. Uh whatever. Ivan Pavlov dies. February Revolution anniversary. Modern socials. And now we want to do increased taxes, initial recovery. So VNS popularity is increasing. KDP rally. I don't think we want the KDP. We want the we want the conservatives to win. Savikov. Savikov, I think it would be fine if he wins, but I feel like it'd be more efficient. Now we might be a war transfer. We don't know. A reformist king. Afghanistan. So now we have the Baraksai Empire. Workers' demonstrations. Initiate another VNS campaign. The 
equipment wise, I'm running low on infantry equipment. Victor Chernov, I guess. I don't know. That's support of conservative liberalism. Encourage private investment. Okay, from the Eurasianists. We want Dmitry Romanov, the Grand Duke. Okay, I'm about to run out of fuel, by the way, so I probably should stop training these planes. They're already good. Russian Liberation Committee has risen in the south. Initiate another ENS campaign. Encourage private investments. Fully agree to their demands. Balance the budget. Should be able to fix these issues. Pools are closing already. Declare war in the Belarusian People's Republic. So... Did we want the VNS victory? The NRPR has denounced the government. So how do I get the... Um, monarchy back? So I have these guys in power. <coughs> Malta secures independence. Balancing the budget is done. What's connections in the Senate? First Women's Division of Death, this is unacceptable. Poland falls to socialism.
so connections in the Senate. Swin Greek referendum. And direct rule from Moscow. Press the radical elements. So now what? Lipsky assault. So, how do I do this? Several stages. To, we need, so, we need the support of at least 276 Duma, and then right now. So I just need to get everybody to vote. To lobby everybody? Good thing I saved political power when I had the chance. Oh good. So now I have more than enough people to support my monarchy referendum. Japan has declared war in the Far Eastern Republic, led by Kyle Dietrichs. They're probably going to white peace though, I feel like nothing's going to get out of this war. Failed army coup in Tokyo. I want Moscow to be the capital, due to its more strategic location. Transbaikal has broken away. Trans Keep lobbying the VNS and 
Suppress rack with almonds. Now let's just do um, some military modernization. Fight radicals. Stability is good. So now what I need here. Okay, so the monarchy referendum is supported by enough senators. Even uprising. Army reform of, uh, let's see. Chatelog. Commander initiative. Germany established control of Crimea. Should I send these guys volunteers? They don't like me anyway. from the German garrison Crimea, so we're gonna demand wide autonomy for Russians. So keep getting the people to support the current bill. Crimean government agrees to German Crimea. Wait a little bit for the train. Commander initiative. Special Forces Office. Charles Curtis, like the president. Monarchy referendum bill is passed. So, depends on the will of the people. So we need to just increase our legitimacy. Referendum in three months. Black Monday is starting to recover. I am very curious about how this war is going to go. So we could get a wrangle. Or we have the Romanovs have more rights to the throne. Hmm. We can get Kirill, Dmitri, Roman, other candidates. Anastasia, Georgi, Boris. Wait, let me actually see who these people are. Because I want to see if they look cool. So, after the murder of Nicholas II, as well as his brother Mikhail Alexandrovich, so who should lead the dynasty? We have Duke Kirill Vladimirovich, and then we have Grand Duke Dmitri. Then we have the young prince, Vislavod. And then Prince Roman. Or we could get Anastasia.
Let's just see what happens if we vote. Okay, so these guys have overstepped on this means or Let's just get the men over there. Choose somebody new. Maybe a Roman the first? Organized monarchist propaganda. Increase turnout. So you have the men on the border now, right? Being aggressively just defeat the Kazakhs. Exports from Armenia. The general public has endorsed the young prince. Of course, Shpashtakov falls ill. Promote Roman's achievements. I don't know if I choose the right monarch. To be honest, I don't really know who, who either of any of these guys are. Italian vote fails. Republican propaganda. Convince the Republican officers of the army to join. 85.5 will vote for restoration of the monarchy. National rearmament. Anything to reclaim our lost territories. So 100% of people will vote for monarchy. Conquered the Lash Horda, take all their land, and confirm and exit. Nice. Now send them back to the west. Results. It's too risky. Yeah, we don't think here. We we know what we're doing. It's already gonna be a hundred percent outcome. What's going on over here? I have no idea. The lame Kerensky. Reintegrate the lands.
to have we restored the monarchy. Monarchies win the referendum. Nice. So we can do the glorious restoration. After the mistakes, at last the mistakes of 1917 have been redeemed with the glorious monarch returning to the Russian throne. This surely marks a return to Russian dominance and importance. We can get a different event now too. Nice. Oh, we lost a bunch of equipment in that war. Nothing we can fit. We can't fix it. What is this? Looks a little different than um, Hoi 4 from a year ago. of their imperial majesties so we have the new emperor of rome in the first constitutional monarchy is just what we need to protect russia so now we have a cool new flag as well as roman the first who has poor health so uh oh did we make the right decision or not um symbol of russian might or prussian constitutionalism no, we will have the symbol of Russian might. What is this? The glorious empire, by the efforts of Vesson's mother, and Russian Tsar was restored to the throne, the two-headed royal eagle exalted above the government buildings, Above the official residence of the Tsar in Moscow, a black silver gold banner has been erected, and the residence are self filled with the numerous staff. Hmm. So, army supports us, clergy supports us, Burgoy's kind of supports us, the proletariat do not support us. So, we have Roman I Petrovich. Let's return to Revolution Glorious and we destroy Kerensky's legacy. So how exactly do you actually like manage that with those sort of mechanics? Because it doesn't exactly say anything. Status of Orthodox Church. Pew Article 5. Renaming Imperial name from Romansk, the memory of Tsarist Russia will never perish. Conflict among the Romanovs. So Kirill do not recognize the right of Roman the first. It's kind of funny, actually, it was like those obscure character that just had a cool name, Roman the first. Of 
Transmer proposes unification. So, Mikhail Dietrichs, the Express Conference that our new government is ready to fall apart, but he said that the Far Eastern Republic Transmer is ready to unite with us under one banner. We should definitely do so. So do we get to... Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. We have a transfer. So we reintegrate everything, and then plus we get 10 new divisions. Which is nice, I guess. Do we get more generals too, I think? I think we do. Nice, we get even more sieves and mills. And let's see, free mills. Thirty-one. Free dockyards too. Fate of the Pacific Fleet. Seize and convert all ships in the harbor. Fate of the Transmer generals, let them serve the motherland. Oh, the civil war's just broken down in America. of Adamian Semyonov. So we're gonna have to kill Semyonov, even though he's still alive there. No mercy for Semyonov and his henchmen. But Semyonov managed to not escape and he's actually alive over in Trent's Bible. Time to start building up an army. Especially with these terrible templates, we're not going to get too far. Um, an engineer company. And we're going to have to add extra artillery, aren't we? Artillery here. We're gonna start training a bunch of these guys to fill up the army and let's just keep going. Currently, everyone seems satisfied. The county of Turkestan has declared war on us. Uh, we'll just crush it immediately. Let's get two army groups here under. We do get Field Marshal Mikhail Dietrich. Which is very cool. Dietrich is pretty based. Honestly, I want to play him in Red Flood real bad. I have not played. This is why Russia, to be honest, is the best country. I have so many pads in like every mod. Let's defeat Turkestan. Defeat. Turks. Nice. 
aggressively. Execute battle plans, let's go. Fight LTP. Pure benevolence on the bazaar. The NRPR goes bankrupt. So Savinkov is now gone for good. It's event the solid airs are gaining popularity. We don't even need a force attack, we just need to keep exploiting the weak spots. I don't even I just need to auto to kind of auto resolve these battles. It's gonna be impossible to move these guys because these guys have last stand on. Super annoying. Information of the Belgrade Pact. Monument to Nicholas II. Sergei Rafmanov returns to Russia. Yegorov is wounded. New constitution adopted. So now we have the fate of Republican parties. in this region. Now let's just put all of the armies of the general Dietrichs. Since we have met the front lines, finally. And let's just take everything. Frontline too big or something? What the heck? Oh, you can't do that. That's stupid. What kind of terrain is it? Oh, it's because this is a map. There's like a slight mountain range or something here. That's a plains province, though. Maybe because this frontline's too big? <sighs> Alright, whatever. You do you. Get these guys to push towards the capital. Get these guys under Kornilov, I guess. Push 
push this way. Stupid front lines, man. They're not letting me do anything. Favorite Republican Party, we will. Demand they recognize monarchy and renounce their anti monarchist views. Now we do third round. Republicans refuse our demands. We have to coexist somehow. We can't just outright ban them. So we do need the popular support to grow. Or at least be maintained. all this and that way I have the equipment to push there we go suddenly there's more green dots So then the rest of my army can just close in. And the Balkan War has started. To so do long live the Empire. We restore the Empire to glory and greatness in all the capitals of the world. People will know of our power and might with the Tsar leading us forward, there can be no doubt about it. We are back in the world we know of might. We have no supply now. Kornilov's death. Too many lives, too. Lost 24k Russians trying to take these mountain provinces held by the Turks. Let's just take these settlements here. They're innocently murdered. Nicholas. What's going on in the Ottoman? Sublime Ottoman Federation. Okay, seems like we're finally making progress here without surrounding us. Central America. Revolutionary Council. Alright, now, finally, do some reform. Rearmament program. Armament program. We do expansionism. We can't do that yet. National High Command Formation School 33. And we can do Army Command focuses, but let's just get military staff. Uh, school of Mass Combat. And Army Breakthrough for now. And 
Davis, core offense, defense. Push, we're about to push through these Turks. Once Bukhara falls, it's over. My men are gaining some experience here. Full recovery. probably be the end of this episode and I'll see you all in the next one. Let me just make sure my research slots and let's take the four. I will reintegrate everything. Last of us marching. Bureaucratic overhaul. Factions. Reich's Pact doesn't look too strong. Especially since Ukraine left it. So coordinate attack can clear out the Reich's Pact. We have two years to recruit new units. Let's get my skills for my generals. I want infantry expert, artillery expert, and improv expert, as well as winter expert too. This guy's good. This will be the end of this episode, and I'll see you all in the next one.